Hi there. Today I thought I'd take a look at three different ways you can implement a lay the field type strategy through automation within Fairbot. The first one you are no doubt familiar with, we've used it a few times, and that is where you specify the back lay all option within the action tab. And on this dialogue you simply specify it as being a lay bet, specify the odds required and your staking amount. Uh, generally you would put it set to keep because these things won't get matched until the race is underway. And that's it, all straightforward, you've seen it before. And if we see that in action, there's our bets going in at 1.5 for £200 each. That's a liability, of course, of £100. That's all pretty standard stuff. As I say, you've seen it all before. There's another way of achieving the same goals. Let me just clear all these bets away and reset that. Bring up the strategy editor again. If we go to the second option that I've already configured here, toggle this one on. This option uses the apply to all feature to achieve exactly the same ends. Now in this case, on the action tab, you don't use back and lay all, instead you use place a bet. So you set up the lay bet, make sure you have the all option chosen in the choose selection section and apply to all switched on down in the bottom left hand corner. Specify your odds as before, your stake as before, everything else is the same as before. And if we save that, apply it to this race again and there once again you see all your bets going in at 1.5 to an overall stake value of £200 each. There's one important difference between those two mechanisms however and that is if you wish to apply conditions. If you apply conditions on the standard LTF mechanism that condition or those sets of conditions that you specify apply to the whole bet where the backslash lay all action is treated as the one bet in terms of the automation. What that means is that if any of your conditions that you specify are not met, none of the bets will be submitted. Whereas if all your bets so all your uh, conditions are met, then all the bets go in. So that's the first thing about the standard LTF. Compare that, however, with the second option, apply to all. Any condition that you specify, because you've set it up as an apply to all feature, is applied to each individual runner. So you can use the conditions as a filtering mechanism. So although you're using a lay the field type bet submission, you can filter out some runners that you don't want that to be applied to. And that, generally speaking, might be based on their odds, for example, or the volume of money on them and so on and so forth. Any condition that you can specify would have that effect on a pair runner basis as opposed to a pair action basis uh, in the first example. So there's two ways of achieving the same ends. However, there's another lay the field strategy you might want to think about doing, and that is uh, doing a trade. Uh, and to do that, you need to use the apply to all functionality. If I once again reset that and cancel all the bets, if we switch off that one and go to this one, the action in this case is place a trade and you get all the normal trade controls that you can specify. So once again choose all here with apply to all switched on, make sure you're doing a later back, specify the fixed odds and now you can specify your offset. You're staking as normal and any other trade type things like repeat on success and so on. 
So this will do essentially the same thing, except it's also going to play off, place offsets on each runner. So again, we'll have a look at that in action. So there you see our original bets going back in, but we've now got offset bets configured five ticks higher. Keep in mind if you're doing it this mechanism, it works differently in terms of outcome with regard to a standard LTF. A standard LTF relies on multiple runners being matched, whereas the LTF trade mechanism um, needs the offsets to be taken. So if you had two runners being matched at 1.5, you would need both of those to be matched on their, on their uh, offsets in order to make a profit. So you'll see three very similar things, but all achieved in subtly different ways. The, the issue with the LTF tree, of course, is that you can still, like the previous example, specify conditions that apply to individual runners rather than the whole field as one block. Okay, I hope you found something useful in that lot. I'll speak to you later. Cheers.